Hey, what's up, everybody? It's John. I'm Mark from Dirty Honey. And you're watching Heavy Consequence. You're wearing the GNR shirt. You've, you've had gigs opening for guns. And I read somewhere that you actually got a backstage meeting with Axel at one uh, point. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, that was after we opened with them in Vegas. And uh, he was super sweet and in very good spirits. And... Uh, totally like was a 180 from all the things you hear about Axel you know but he was he was very nice we just talked shit for like 20 30 minutes and you know I'm very aware of not taking up too much of somebody's time um, but yeah he was he was awesome yeah. that was <laughs> the way it happened was crazy I was looking for them and their manager was I was like where's the band he was like oh I'll bring it right to him and he like walked me to Axel not not your My band. band. <laughs> yeah. That was the best part. He's like, are you looking for the band? And he's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> takes him into the dream scenario. Yeah, yeah. Here's rough. your room full of heroes. Not, not my bandmate, but I'll <laughs> show you. Meanwhile, we're in the suck in the yeah. friends and family room eating cold pizza. <laughs> and Mark comes back. He's like, well, I got a story he's like, well, for you. what are you guys up to? <laughs> it was sick. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's awesome. And, uh. Speaking of like heroes, and uh, I know you're a big hockey guy. I saw you in New York City, and I was up in the balcony, and I saw Henrik Lundqvist, uh, yeah. New York Rangers legend, goalie. I saw him milling about like before the uh, sh before he joined you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's Henrik Lundqvist. I'm pretty familiar with him, handsome fella. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it was so cool. About two thirds into your set, he comes out, rocks out with you. Not a cover song, one of your songs, which is really cool. Yeah. And uh, it must have been a thrill for you as a huge hockey fan. Yeah, he's a buddy. He has been for a long time. and uh, No big deal. <laughs> he just loves, he loves music, always has. I actually, to come full circle with Guns, actually, he took me to Guns at Madison Square Garden um, kind of right before we were popping off. And there was a moment backstage, he had a friend visiting from Sweden and, like, the handler, Kimo, came backstage and was like, hey man, um, only two of you can go meet Slash. Henrik really wanted to meet Slash, whatever. And like, I don't know if Slash really knows who Henrik is, but whatever. So Hank looks at me and his buddy Oscar and he's like, uh, you guys flip a coin. And I was like, dude, he's here. Like, I just have a feeling I'm gonna meet Slash one day. And this is, again, before we had yeah. stuff happening. So they go meet Slash, and Hank flicks me a Slash pick that I kept in my cell phone forever. And uh, a year later, like almost to the day, we get the call from management, like, you guys are opening for Slash, it's your first real gig, he loves the song, whatever. Um, and so that was like my first call that night, was like, dude, you're not gonna believe like what's happening, Hank, I'm opening for Slash. He was like, what the fuck? So, um, yeah, that was really cool. It all kind of started with him and him and, like, just a weird full circle thing. And to go back to New York where, like, that all happened and play with Henrik. And it's just, it was a dream come true for me, obviously.